So reconnecting. <laughs> but if you guys caught that first segment, it was just a shout out to a few people. Um, take a listen. We're going to be talking about a few things today. Main birth. Love all y'all that are. Come on, man. How come I fucking doing this shit? Yeah, what's up? What's up, Lauren? What's up? Mic check, mic check. Hello. Yeah. There we go. Right well, guys, I was trying to talk to you on my live on Facebook, but I, I did my upgrade and shit sucks, so it's pissing me off right now. So, if anything, you guys, if you can't follow me right now, um, my uh, live is off right now, but happy Memorial Day, happy Monday. Bertho. What's up, what's up? Happy Memorial Day, guys. Shout out to everybody that served and is still serving. Still serving for our freedom. Yes, and uh, I don't know what the hell's wrong with my phone, but it's making me mad. So, if anything, guys, um, go to Bertho's Live. Uh, we're doing a contest. Uh, we're doing a contest today. Um, call in, you win. Um, Fireworks, it's going down. At exactly 1.15, we want to take a phone call at 1.15, and if you say, I love Barbershop Talk, you win a Rockstar Firework Pack. So, I'm going to stop messing with this phone, but it's really making me mad. I did the iOS program. I was trying to get a live going on, but this thing's a piece of shit. Oh, there it goes. So hey, what's up, guys? Uh, no one told me that we were going live. You can just put it on. So um, what's up? What's live? Uh, Denver had a, a really nice barber battle go on this weekend, guys. And um, the thing is, we had some winners, we had some losers. But as long as you repped, we uh, promoted the promoted it on our show um, probably like two months before. It was very, very. Um, I guess, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Am I having a brain fart? Educational. It, it was very um, good for the heart, the soul. If you guys uh, got into it, like I said before, it's, uh, you actually put your name out there and get your name known. I thought it was dope. Yeah, I know. And the thing is, is like the venue was dope. And on our shows before, we talk about... Um, like how to get your name out there and what's going to happen if you do get into a barber battle. And I'm um, sorry, I'm a little rusty right now. I'm, I'm like, I'm on them. It's, it's been a week. Jeez. Jeez. You know, you gotta, I'm sorry. You got to get I'm back in it. You got to get back in it. Wake Ooh. up. I know. So anyway, guys, um, all for all the listeners that support us, we're, it's been a steady climb, but um, our show's getting well known now. And there's been a lot more people, even at the barber battle, that want to get on it more just because of the respect. And the things that we talk about on here, it's yes, nothing sir. flake. We always want to talk about, and I, I love this word, and I use it a lot, is discipline. I feel like if you're kind of a loose cannon, you don't have a schedule, and, and this kind of pertains to anybody that's just living a, a life in any kind of trade, is uh, put some discipline in your life. I feel like you'll be rewarded. And I, I, I stand by that because I feel like I have, towards my mind, body, and soul, discipline. And I feel like there's a lot of things that come up come around once you say Berto? yeah i mean that makes sense I, I get out with the negative and with the good yeah and i feel like out the negative and with the positive and if you're not let, uh putting yourself out there and wearing yourself thin i feel like you're rewarded a lot of things maybe it'd be sexual maybe it'd be something yeah intellectual yeah in intellectual <laughs> see we're rusty <laughs> my thesaurus is fucking up on words <laughs> intellectual <laughs> we're talking about electrical <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. We're both rusty, man. You should have some sausage bar. Intellectuals. <laughs> what are we talking about? That's, why we, go, that's why we go cordless, yo. Uh, so, what's, what's up, up good? Yo? But, yeah, man, shout out to everybody that we saw this weekend. You know, um, Hernan, underrated. You know, man, I got to get a beanie from you. Man, I was just a ton of people that, you know, I met a lot of people this weekend at the Barber Battle that, you know, from IG that followed me and, you know, show love and, it was actually pretty dope, man. I, I, I it was your I, first I, battle it too. Was my huh? very first battle. Yeah, I shook off the the little nervous nervousness bugs. that I had. Yeah, the little nervous bugs and got in there, got in the ring with T. You know, I was a blessing. You know, just to be able to work next to TJ. So, so we did miss a week, and we're gonna come up to it. And I kind of like, I try to make sure that our show has kind of substance and not just all over the place. So, 
that day was hectic. Me and Berto went to the shop. We ran it for a while, and we knew we were going to go to the um, the seminar. The seminar that happens in the morning, and honestly, I feel like I can kind of conduct one uh, even a little bit better, or if not, just the same as some of these guys that come because I've heard so much mixed emotions about what that uh, seminar was about. Was it a um, an ego trip, or was it actually something that you're going to learn from? And I've heard several things. I'm not a knocking, but Someone that's actually sat behind the chair for 17 years than some guy that just wants to be a showcase barber has had his license for five years. What's they really going to teach you about barbering other than how to do a design better or how to. But anyway, I'm not knocking. You know, I have some mixed emotions about how things go. I used to be a B-boy. So battles are always a little one sided at times, but it was a great experience. I feel like it was awesome. We ripped, and no matter what, like it's I said, really on the, hard too. Yeah. On the show, I've always talked about it's like I was getting into the discipline thing is like. You know, no matter if you're scared or not, you don't have the money to put up for the, for, hold on, uh, put up for the money. Uh, we have a caller, but I'm still talking um, uh, to get into the battle. I feel like you that little bit of money you put in, win or lose, I mean, that just shows, that'll go on forever. People yeah, will know where you're at, what you're doing, how you're doing it. So, it did. I mean. Chris just said that, you know, we did, that we killed it and that it brought us closer. And I think it did as a team because, you know, at the end we were all. You know, we all came together as one, and, you know, and there was maybe a little, you know, distance in between each and every one of us. But, you know, I think at the end of the day, you know, we're, we're all here now. And we, you know, like I said, we're all either we're going to join another battle or, you know, I will. we are going to kill it in another shop. Or, you know what I mean? We're going to kill show. it at the shop and the show and, you know, do what we got to do. Uh, more than likely, bro, I'm, I'm putting my hat in there. I want to try to head out to El Paso. I've been a... Uh, talking to a couple other barbers and I was going to run it across you guys, but we want to rep as just Colorado, just as, Colorado. Yeah. I mean, we're going to come together from all these shops and we want to rep. So we want to maybe head, head down to, you know, either uh, the El Paso barber battle and, you know, I want to take that one by storm. I want to show them how Colorado goes. See, and honestly guys, and I feel like once you're in your first battle, the, the those worry bugs are out of your, out of your life. So, I mean, Get out there, get your name known. It's uh, barbering is such a, I mean, from being in it, like uh, for as long as I have and seeing the the passion and, the, you know, like I felt like uh, us older guys, even TJ or even you, like that keep pushing that uh, loyalty and respect towards it. I feel like even with the ego, egotistic barbers, I still see that it's evening out. Yeah. Meaning sure. that like even if you have an ego, you still got to rip who you are and stay true because then you give us a bad name as barbers and the thing is, is we all need to stay as one and colorado rep man and shots out to anthony fuentes and his crew yeah shout out to 5280 man thank you guys for the invite and everything that you guys did man it was dope i mean the to the venue to you know and then I, the only speakers. thing i say is that everybody was saying is the judging was a little like different you know you should have had maybe a, a judge for every barber if you knew you had 20 people have 10 judges that are actually looking at your your you know because I, I i i any barber battle i've been in they look at your the way you clean your tools the way you put your tools away the way you set up your dress attire it's a showcase barber battle yeah not just sure. looking at a haircut that's what i all heard you know that's what i all heard but like i said this was my first so like i said i wasn't you know sour or anything i just you know i was there for the experience honestly and i'm not sour i'm just i guess i'm just looking at it as a one Hearing everybody and seeing what everybody says, because I hadn't said one thing, you know, I loved it. And like I said, I've lost so many times in barbering in life itself that I feel like, you know, like Jordan says, that's when you do succeed. You know, that's the only way you can succeed is yeah, tasting you, yeah. the loss, tasting losing something. Yeah, for sure. You, yeah, you keep taking those shots. You just like now. You eventually you're going to hit. My freaking Oakleys, I lost those. Or someone took them. You better <laughs> turn those shit. Those are my, I was trying to have that as my uh, trademark on the show. Damn it. But anyway, I want to give a shout out to the uh, almighty God, Jesus Christ. Um, thank you for just thank giving you. us the health and the perseverance and the soul that lives inside me to love life and to be a better person than I was yesterday. And, you know, me and Bertho woke up that day and we, we didn't know we were going to go to the bar battle together. But that was that meant a lot to me just because it like calmed me down. Bertho was chilling and we went there together. So we we're the last, last couple of months to show up. We have a caller. We got Maybe one minute. TJ. We got one minute. Yo, what's up, everybody? Roger, Tara, tell them they got Adrian, one more babies. Yo, what up, Ernest? Desiree, tell them they got one more what minute. Up, Chris? got one more minute. They're on. Sister, we got one more minute. Damn it. Who's this? What's your name? Is this is Richie? 
Cousin Richie. Oh, what up, Cousin Richie? Hey, we have a badass uh, firework thing, man. And, um, yeah, that's 12.15. Yeah, no, I saw, I saw Berto's post. Well, it's 12.15 now. It's 12.15 now. Or 1.15. 1.15. Right. So what was the, you had to call in with. So what else did you see on the post? Richie. What's up? Did he hang up? No. What else was on the post? Richie! <laughs> uh, calling at 1.15 for a firework giveaway or something hey he called right on the dot yeah, i think he should win it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you you no, won it he hasn't won it yet he hasn't won it yet you gotta get your ass too. down oh what there was, was it? some directions in that post so what was the directions i'm just, I'm just letting you know there were some directions, in that, directions in that post you gotta know you gotta know you gotta know uh-oh here we go here we go uh-oh i'm sorry richie i'm sorry richie He's got to go. But you have to. Barbershop talk. Too late. There we go. Oh, it's too late. We have another caller. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> no, he's still on. Nope. Hello? Nope. Our producer messed up. Go ahead. Hello, caller one. Caller two. Mike, check. <laughs> Richie? Hello, caller. <laughs> Richie, is that you? Doesn't want to call him? You guys, did I lose? Well, they're saying that you didn't say it in time. The, the, oh gosh! You were supposed to say. You were supposed to say, "I, I love the barbershop talk show." I did not see Come that. On, what's I just up? saw call at one fifteen. What are you doing? And Hold then on. I was like, "Oh, it's almost one fifteen. <laughs> oh, I, oh, how are you doing today? Happy Memorial Day. I'm doing good. Who wants to bring some barbecue by the barbershop? <laughs> you gonna give it to? Let me hang up on him. Anyway. Oh my gosh, the, the, the producer is really no, having no, trouble just, right now. No, no, it's just that you're keeping him going. No, you are. Close. Okay, somebody else? Somebody else is on it. Hello? Hello? Happy Monday, you're, you're with you're Barbershop sure. Talk. You go live. What's up? Oh my gosh. Hello, this thank you for calling Barbershop Talk. You're on line one. Please speak up. I love Barbara. 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 You gotta be eighteen and over. You gotta be. It's gotta be and eighteen over. and over. Yo, we have people screwing up. Read the directions, guys. It's gotta be eighteen and over. You gotta show you what you say. I am eighteen. No, you're not. <laughs> Next caller. I am. Okay. Hang Next up one. on them, Dad. I did, I did. Next one. Next caller. I'm 18 and a half. <laughs> Inches tall? <laughs> no. Can't hang up. What's your name? Hey, what's up, Anthony? Uh, we're having technical, technical no, no, we're difficulties. Not, we're not. It's we're driving just, me nuts right now. But... Hanging up on them. They're nice. So, what's go. up, everybody? Thank you for being no, here. No, don't hang up on me. What you up, can't hang up on me. Hey, Nana. What's up? Got my sister with Clippers watching today. So guys, um, we're, uh, how okay, you doing, Anthony? That that that's not. That's the same person. This one right here. No. Caller. This one's. Hello. Hey. Caller. What's your name? Say it again. Caller, you there? Here, just hang up on them all, and then we'll restart, okay? I did. Hang up on them all and restart. All right, guys. Please um, call on one on one, and we just need to hear you say what the directions. You gotta be 18 or older, and then that's it. Next caller. Hello. Caller. Go ahead. Yeah. There you go. Caller, you're online. Anyways, well, we got yeah, this up, flyer going out right now. Yo, guys. Um, so the direction was just just give a call, state what we said to say. You gotta be 18 or older, and then you win, and then we'll talk to you. That's all it needs to be. OMG. That's my beard right there. I did that. Caller two. Caller Hello. three. I did that. Hello. I love Barber South Talk. Yeah, there we hey. go. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Raise the roof. What's up? Caller, where are you calling from? Where are you calling from, Caller? I am calling from Edgewater, Colorado. Hell yeah. What's your name? State your name. My name is Lauren. I just competed in the barber battle. Hell yeah. Actually, Dan, that's Laura from the Scissorhand, Scissorhand Design Studio. Um, yeah, we got a, you won the the fireworks, so you got to come down, pick it up. We actually might do another okay. one. How you doing today, Lauren? 
I'm doing really good. Just enjoying my nice day off. That's awesome. Uh, we have the phone blown up right now. I think we should do this more often. Um, I definitely you should because, yeah, I'm really looking cool. forward to shooting those fireworks off. <laughs> <I'm having college. laughs> That's cool. So, yeah, so I want to talk to you a little bit. You know, we were talking about the barber battle and, like, our shows before we're talking about having the confidence and not letting that, you know, affect you. And then actually the money that you put into it is actually, you know, it's advertisement. So what do you think about it? Was it beneficial to you? Well, I think, you know, looking back in hindsight, um, you know, I definitely, you know, when 5280 did their first barber battle, I lost at that one. That was my first barber battle. And I lost and I, I was so proud and even, you know, so proud even though I lost. And I think this time what ended up happening was, was I didn't actually get a sticker. So I had no idea what number I was except for the number that she had wrote on my hand, which come to find out was a dash. And um, I think just, you know, just me getting up there and seeing that I was number one just embarrassed me so badly that uh Oh, I think yeah. that's what did it for me, and I think that's what I was like upset about was the fact that I was confused, and it was just really embarrassing. But I mean, I it's mean, not the actual fact that I lost; it's the fact that I jumped up there like that, and it and was kind of honestly, really I think you did win. For me. You know, there's a, I mean, <laughs> the hot talent itself, and I think that's what I was talking about. You know, I'm not gonna say who won or lost, but I think the judges should have looked at the technicality of how the barber came at it. But I mean, that's just how I look at it, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I guess, like, at the, the end cut. of the day, I really just want to know, like, what can I improve on? Is there something that I could have done differently? I mean, I practice sanitation. I practice labeling. I am a licensed barber. Um, yes, that's all. What, did, that's what, didn't, what, I, what didn't I do? And, and I executed a great haircut. I mean, was there something that else that they were looking for? If there was, I mean, Leave I it. think that's definitely the rules can be regulated a little bit more. Like, I mean, I know somebody that did one, you know, I don't want to speak for anybody, but I mean, no, I get you. It needs to be so, see, yeah. that's what I was saying too. Is that okay? So, when you do practice for a bar battle, like that's what I was practicing for is like technicality from the way you're dressed to the way you clean your clippers to the how you perform as a showcase, not just the haircut yeah. at the end. So, I mean, well, maybe, yeah, I mean, like cross your teeth and dot your eyes, right? When you do everything right you're just kind of stumped wondering what it is that you did wrong at the end. Yeah, that's And yeah, I guess I just, just don't have closure is my biggest thing. But I am I glad that I was there? Yes. Is it the dopest venue I've been to for a barber model? Absolutely. Like, I think they did a wonderful job. But I I was just really confused. So That's good. Um, well, you're winning our book. I really think you've knocked it out the park. And the thing is, I think next time in a barber battle, especially if I put it together, um, I'm going to have technicality. So there's going to be, a, you know, a dot your I's and cross your T's. You know what I mean? Like, so when people prepare for this, they're going to be docked on their shoes. They're going to be docked on the weight. Because I feel like that's what a competition is, not just the end result. Especially with guys I don't know. Some of these guys that they had, I don't know those guys. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I have way more experience than some of those guys. So I don't know. But anyway. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I, anyway. You look at some of Yeah. Anyway, it's like. Um. Berto did say, I guess, sh sh show more cleavage. Ah, <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I told teammates that I wanted cleavage in those t-shirts, you know. <laughs> I, I the definitely only one that was specified that, and it was a high V-neck for sure. Show that cleavage, Lauren. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you calling, and you did say the right thing. Uh, love Barbershop Talk. Um, you could go ahead and uh, pick it up here or get a hold of us, but it's a nice little package, Lauren. So at least you won from us. Heck yeah. Yeah, me and Chris would throw some steaks on the grill and light them up. Hell yeah. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate right, well, you calling. Do you guys mind posting the address on the comment? Yeah, we'll give it to you. I, we have your number, too, so we'll get it. Great. Sounds yeah. good. All right. Cool. Thank you. Have a good All day. Right, Happy bye. Memorial Day. Good talking to you, too. Thank you. Bye. We should do, we bye. Should do one more since they blew up like that. Um, we so we have one second count that. The, the little kid that was talking, uh, it's actually one of my clients. Oh, it she is? She is 18 or older. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> we maybe should give her one. But she sounded like she didn't know what she's saying. You got to say. She just kept saying, I love, I love yeah, she said, I love barbershop talk. She said, she, as soon as we answered, she said it. So, yeah, guys, um, we had, uh, the phone blew up. So, I think maybe that's what we'll start doing. We'll start doing some giveaways and call-ins. So. so, guys, that was one of the competitors. I mean, 
I, I personally love the barber battle. I personally, I guess I do agree with the way at who won, you know. To me, I always think yeah, yeah, yeah. that God um, has a plan for everybody. And I hate to use God, but I just think that everything rolls off the way it does because that's yeah, the way sure. it learns. The way you come in your life, whoever was there. You know, Anthony is a great guy. If you guys don't know him, Anthony Flint is 5280. He was my right-hand man at the G-Spot. Great dude. He's an honest guy, so it was a great venue, guys. If you didn't want to, if you didn't get out, you should have, because there were so many people, there were so many things. I actually got to buy some blessed um, shave gel. shave gel that I really got to get. Uh, me and Adrian, Ooh. RAP salute. Boy, got that hat. We love that shit. So. Got that hat. <laughs> and uh, the thing is, I guess you know, it's throw some cleavage, guys. You know, or hey, <laughs> shout out to Boss Bray and his. Uh, his little twerk crew. And his little twerking crew. <laughs> he was twerking and working. But anyway. He was twerking more than the strip. I know. Right? That guy, uh, he had his pants sagging down. On a, sheesh. Yeah, so, yeah, guys. And what else do you want to talk about? Weren't you going to talk about something? Yeah, Bray's pants. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only dude that turns shorts into pants. Oh, man. I heard that uh, he was giving out 50 <laughs> spots if you wanted to smell his mask. Smell the mask. Smell the mask. How did he make that noise? Uh, <laughs> Lecter. We're going to cook your brain. <laughs> no, guys. Uh, so the thing is, it's like, I loved it. It was great. And um, I, I actually rocked a bow tie just to try to give it. Because uh, actually, my little, uh, my client, Tomasito, he loves a dress up. So that's another reason why I wanted to match what he was wearing. Yeah, and it was dope. So I, I tried to give a little showcase to what I was doing. And, no, um, you guys were good. I came, you know, and I've gotten to the traditional. Um, and I was just trying to bring a traditional cut. You know, I thought of uh, the Hollywood. A lot of you bar younger barbers don't know. The Hollywood is um, long on the side, um, uh, flat top on top. And that was a great traditional cut growing up in the, I think, 60s late 50s you know and a lot of the tra traditional cuts ain't around no more and that's what we were talking about today is like is a comb over a traditional cut anymore and then um yeah and i was going to say is that a comb over i remember a comb over being a traditional cut but not with the part carved in it with like a taper fade a traditional cut to me is that simple cut or like a comb over like a pompadour or what's his name from um that uh show um leave it to beaver you know, his dad or his <laughs> older brother, that original comb over, what's his name? Uh, uh, Wally? Wally Beaver. Wally. That's my, that, <laughs> when I look up a, a traditional comb over cut, that's what I think of. And honestly, with the second place one, I think that was a pretty traditional. What about cut. Harry Beaver? Harry Beaver. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Cleavage and Harry Beavers. Fucking. We know it's on Myrtle's <laughs> mind, guys. No, that Harry was his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his cousin. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. It was nappy. Yeah, Harry it got me all red. <laughs> Leave it to Beaver. <laughs> the hairy one. Oh. Or not I'm without God, hair. Just... <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. You said talk more. <sighs> I know. I you. That's good though. Oh, a little bit. Man. What up, Joseph? Welcome. And I want to give a shout out to TJ and his family. I mean, his, his support are second to none. I mean, even I feel the support when his family comes and shows the, the family and everything. So like them coming in, them coming in and showing the way they they support and the love they show is just awesome. And you know, TJ, you got a great family, bro, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. And, you know, I wanted to go down the list and give shots out because the, the love there was second to none. And that's what I have talked about before the barber battle came is that get your name out there, uh, networking, you know, and just the barber the barber respect. And I think the more work in the, the um, years you put in, people come up and you, you, um, you, grat you give gratitude to one another. So, I mean, to me – Money can't buy that type of stuff or things, you know what I mean? So yeah. material. So I feel like no matter what, the passion that lives inside of me for barbering, that's what it's all about. Yeah. And I feel like Colorado's come a long ways from that egotistic, screw that barber to that barber. And a lot of the younger cats need to hold on to that. And, you know, I, I'm still young. I'm still young. Just got a lot of years under my belt. But you guys keep checking out for me, you know. The more I lose, the better I get. So I'm going to be coming out for another one and. I'm not trying to lose no more, so I'm going to come with my A, A, A game. So I'm coming out for you guys that keep saying you the best. So anyway, damn it, more cleavage. I'm going to show cleavage when I go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, boom, boom, boom. 
Shout out to Lenny and the Boulder Boulder, uh, my brother Lenny, <laughs> <laughs> on Memorial Day for you guys that got your asses up and uh, ran on to the. Yeah, he ran this morning. All of us this morning. So right on, brother, for uh, being chubby and uh, being able to <laughs> run run six minute miles. Jeez, congratulations to you, brother. And there's a couple people I wanted to go down. Uh, I I actually met a guy named Eddie. He's a really cool cat, Eddie the barber. Um, I met through a fellow barber named uh, Nicole. So meeting like altitude guys. I mean, I know those guys, and showing um. Just showing the love, 303, all the cats, Mike, Money Mike, uh, his family and his shirts are just Dude, awesome. 303 showed up deep. They showed up, um, scissor hands. I mean, it was such a great experience, guys. And the thing is, is now that I've come to this point in my life, I think barbering picked me. I didn't pick barbering. So, I mean, I already talked about that. Oh, you did? Yeah. And, um, mm. See the thing is, is like I always, I always conduct the show. I don't need extra because it mixes me up. But um, Berto, what what you're gonna talk about? Um, I know you're gonna talk about um, I guess uh, the tools that you should bring and what's best tool to bring. Cause I, I brought my little rechargeable clipper and I lost it somewhere. <laughs> and, and I opened my thing today and it was there. I don't it know was how. There. I don't know how it got there. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> what would you think that would prepare you the best for a bar valve at your first? Like, what tools? What's going to make you feel like, oh, is it your cape? Well, is it's it just something? Every, you know, every, your everyday use. I mean, you got to kind of narrow it down because, like I said, I think I have, like, six or seven clippers in my arsenal. So, I'm like, I, I don't think I would take all of them. And this one was actually easy for me because, you know, we and TJ did tag team. And he actually had his stuff there. So, you know, I went ahead and just used his. And we went over what, you know, what was I comfortable using of his. Um, only thing I took was a straight razor in case we had, you know, both razor at the same time. So, yeah, that's but, dope. I mean, just going through a checklist. I mean, obviously, you did take your trimmer. So, yeah, that was a, it's a little nerve wracking. I mean, once you're running out of time, too. But thank God we did have a squad there. You know, we did have some extra trimmers there for you to use. So. You know, that was actually kind of dope, you know. Yeah. And honestly, too, with that little cut, uh, I like to use those little clippers just because I feel like, and I think you've done it before, if you guys have a, a long T-edger and you're doing a little kid, <laughs> then you put that sucker right there, you're you putting him some slash, some crib slashes oh, in his yeah. eyebrows, oh, and then the mom and dad are like, oh, what the hell happened? And I've done that more than twice where I got that clipper, the style liner too, and I'm up there. And then he moved. I, no, I, I just straight line it up. And if you guys see my big old hair right here, on a little kid, you line that shit up, and that TH goes right into the brow, and then you have to put two slashes. Man. Yeah, so those little ones I have, the uh, the Slimline Pros, and I think I've seen at least three barbers have them, and I think they're getting more popular. Yeah, I saw those. I saw the gold ones that we have. Yeah, I so, I mean, guys, uh, it does, I guess, in a barber bout, it does, I mean, depending on what client you're doing and uh, how you're going at it, because I also brought my straight razors so, so I can make it a lot cleaner, so... But at the end of the day, I think it's just doing your best work, guys. Yeah, for sure. Killing it, going out there, showing love. What and up, Ray? Ray, Ray, uh, Ray Reinhardt just tuned in, man. Much love that you, do. you did your thing this weekend, brother. Much love. Like I said, much love to the 303 family. Yeah, guys. Um, And then also, too, um, there's a couple things I wanted to talk about. And I think I did on my first uh, live. Is uh, shout out to Mike Alvarado, like I said. Um, oh, came, yeah, dude. He came in. He, and that's what I, that's that word. I mean, I, my life uh, took down, but it was that word discipline. And that thing, I feel like no matter what kind of life you're living, you put some discipline in your life, uh, you're rewarded with other things. You put some discipline in your life and you put some hot sauce in your burrito. Yeah, you go. Hot sauce on my burrito, baby. <laughs> Just meaning that, you know, like if you're out there running yourself thin, like your soul, if you put yourself out there, everybody could take a chip at your soul, you know, and I feel like. You're, you start running yourself in whatever you're doing. So I feel like if yeah. you discipline with it, whether it be sexual, whether it be drinking, say you've been drinking and you're finally noticing, man, I drink a lot. Put some discipline in your life. Take it out of your life and watch how your temple, your body meaning, how it starts feeling yeah, and how you're sure. rewarded with different things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it whether sense, whether you're like working too much, chill whether, back a little bit. Yeah, that whether it be, you know, just conscious decisions. Yes, yeah. conscious isn't about discipline because I feel like even uh, I follow Alvarado on uh Instagram, and that's what he put discipline in your life, and I feel like you succeed. Dude, look good, man. Second round knockout, you know, our TKO. Yes. I mean, and that's you know, that discipline. I'm telling you, bro. 
And uh, that, I think that word has more meaning to me. When people hear it, it sounds like, oh, you're going to go put someone in the corner or spank them or you spank your kid. But I feel like discipline to me means a lot more. Discipline to your body. You're respecting your body. You're uh, allowing yourself to heal from the, the things that you had put in or people that have said to yeah, you. or sure. You know? And sometimes you don't know what you're putting in your body. You could be eating something, you know, you wouldn't eat that cupcake, but you don't know how that chocolate's affecting you as a person. I mean, I don't mean to use chocolate. It could be alcohol. It could be anything. I've had people die from doing cocaine, and they thought they were, like, um, um, recreational users, and all of a sudden they are in the bath and found dead. So, And that shouts out to Greg Romero. He was a badass uh, barber. He actually worked with me. He worked with uh, Freddie for a while, and they found him up in the bathroom dead. And he actually helped my shop get bigger. And um, that's just this a little story I wanted to share with you because Greg Romero, me and him got tight for about two years, but he ended up leaving, going to work with Freddy's, and they found him dead because him not putting discipline in his life, obviously. So I don't want to go too far off the topic, guys. Um, I hope you're enjoying your Memorial Day. Yeah, bring some barbecue by the shop. We hungry. We, we hungry. We had a busy morning. For it being a holiday, man. We... I think, though, that's why. Because people think everybody's closed. Yeah. And it's kind of a chill day. Usually people are going to see loved ones, yeah. just chill with their shorts on, American flag shit, flipping the burgers, right? Mm. Mm, the spook says, mm. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, buddy. And um, there's a, a, a little thing uh, I wanted to say is that uh, we also put up there, um, uh, we're going to talk about the barber battle. And we're going to talk about, I guess, a little bit of the relationships that come into uh, perspective. <laughs> I guess, you know, and like um, whether it be couples or your best friend or who you're rocking with, rock with your socks out. But, I mean, keep that. I mean, it is very hard because I, I want to give a shout out to um, Murph Brothers. He has a, actually a wife that I got to work with named Shay. And uh, maybe that's why they don't work together. But, I mean, there's certain things that you should abide by. And I guess the relationship thing we were uh, referring to is just like even – your best friend, because I've worked with my best friends, and sometimes, and we've talked about it in other shows, is be careful what you say to people. I mean, you got to keep it professional. It's funny. We, we throw some wits out there. <laughs> like, me and Bert are close now, but sometimes it's borderline because maybe him, me and him are talking about something, then I said something about his wife, and whether it be your girl or if you're, you know, just like me and Adrienne, like, you got to keep it professional to, to, you know, loving or whatever, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. So, I mean, that's something to learn, but I think it also helps you, too, because it helps you di put discipline in your life, and it's cool, actually, being able to see your significant other or your best friend daily doing the same thing, you know? So, that's that barber life for you. I mean... You gotta start that empire somewhere. That's what I'm saying, so... And that's good you say that, empire, you know? Because I feel like dreams always come true. If you guys discipline in your life, discipline in the shop, you can go anywhere, right, Berto? Yes, sir. Stay blessed, never stressed. I keep forgetting something. Didn't you want to talk about something? Were we talking about something? I know, but you were talking about. <laughs> so we're a little rusty, guys. Um, it's been two weeks. Um, I know there's a couple things. So be looking out for um, things we're going to be giving what up, out. Sam? What you find again, homie? We're going to be giving out maybe like um, we have a lot of fireworks here, but I think it's for other stores here at the KUHS. But we're going to uh, start giving away more raffles and more things. And um, the producer always tried to, like, act like I want to read his lips, like, through the show. But I, I can't do it. Looks like we get notes. And uh, I wanted to say that um, um, shout out to Fiona. She actually made Concert us some badass um, shirts for the barber battle. And if you guys want to get a hold of her, um, I know you could get on one of our Facebooks. Um I know she gets booked out from what shirts and how many she's making, um, but you get what you pay for with her. And I, um, her son comes to see me for a haircut. He's an awesome little dude. But if you guys need anything like that done, sweats, shirts that actually have good silk screen lettering that don't uh, shrink when you wash them or the fall off, the the iron on uh, little uh, things don't come crinkling off. <laughs> Go to uh, Fiona. She, she, it's pretty tight gear, man. This is the barber uh, battle shirt that we actually had. And I love what the bot. Uh, this is kind of goes up with what I say. Turn around, Berto. And this is something I love because, you know, it's, you guys, a lot of people know me that I'm just real passionate about shit. And, like, that's just how I am. I love to love. So this this goes up the, uh, the alley of how I am. The barber, an individual with 
the ability to touch souls with a pair of clippers. And to me, I think that's just awesome because I feel like when you go that route, and I, I feel like in our shows, when you go that route, people want to come back and see you and you build that rapport with them to where they're like, yeah, this guy is awesome and you feel good. And I feel like when you're, when you picture yourself in the chair, if you're a picky person, you're going to give that, you're going to deliver that aspect of like loving the care cut. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure. That makes sense. I think. And then like, I just got that guy that just showed up today and I feel like, you know, you stroke his ego, you, you spend a little bit more time around his ears and actually give him like a nice razor cut around his ears, you know, that goes far. I'm just saying, you know, these little things that help you become a better barber. Yo, what up, Smitty? All the way from New Mexico. What up, homie? Oh, yeah. I wanted to give a shout out to, uh, what's his name? Gilbert Edge? Yeah. Gilbert, Gilbert Edge, man. I appreciate your support, bro. Word up to you and your fam and uh, your skills are out, the, out of this world. I've seen you had a couple barber battles. Your shit's dope, bro. Thank you for the support and um, the things you say. And um, do we have any more uh, fireworks to give out? A one for sure. One for sure. Well, well how many nice. shows do you have? Twenty-one. Okay, cool. And um, we got Earth, Wind, and Fire concert tickets. Cameo we got Earth, tickets. Wind, and Fire concert right, tickets. Guys. What is that concert? It's in uh, July. It's for July. So here at KUHS, guys, um, I know this is one of the uh, sh many shows that come on this uh, broadcast. Um, they're going to be giving out concert tickets for Earth, Wind, and Fire. And uh, actually, the barbershop talk is actually getting some. So I think on the next show, we'll be having the same thing. You call in and you say something. And the, this is a badass concert, guys. And I don't know if you guys don't watch, you better share it because... We're going to be giving these out next Monday and their Earth, Wind, and Fire concert tickets. And where's the venue at? Um, Pepsi Center. The Pepsi Center. Wow. Actually, man, I might have to act like they won and I take them. And Pit Bull. And we're going to be having some Pit Bull. So actually, guys, I think this is going to be something to start of. Like, we're going to call in, win something. Because I feel like it's going to get more listeners. Um Today was kind of like up in the air. It's a holiday. We were working. We almost didn't make it. Off the top of the dome. So we're trying to be off top of the dome and just talking about the Real love. A lot of stuff going on this weekend. So we're just talking about the barber battle, giving out what's coming up, uh, concert tickets. Uh, yes, we are open today up until about 5 o'clock. I'll be there all day. Well, I'll be there until about day. 6 or 7. You guys want to come in. Memorial Day cuts. We got you. Cash only today just because banks are closed. Um, just bring in if you guys want to get... Get in. King. If you guys want to get in for your barbecue and your water fights, come on in. We'll hook it up. And um, cut. So the Earth, Wind, and Fire next week, and then uh, the Altitude Boys. Actually, I got a hold of them, and since they're it's kind of chilled out with them, they're doing their grand opening this next Sunday. So we're gonna, maybe going to be having them after the their grand opening in here to talk about their win. Congrats to the Murph Brothers. Congrats, uh, the Altitude they actually uh, placed in uh, two categories, so shout out to them. And that's what I was actually talking about. H him and his uh, wife, um, they actually are both barbers, and that's just awesome to me. I feel like when two people are awesome barbers and they work together or even work apart from each other, it's just cool because you come home or talk about certain things you Line up beards or whatever yeah. the culture. And I hired this guy with dirty hair today. No, it's true. It's true. Like <laughs> me too. I just feel like the barbering. It, it, I, I think like <laughs> as long as I've been doing it, I think of it, and I'm like, it's not just about cutting hair. It's You'll not. never guess who came into the barbershop. It's <laughs> Harry Beaver. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this dude is honey. <laughs> honey. I'm oh, honey. Man, I'm no, I know. I'm just funny. <laughs> <laughs> I got rid. So, that was just my shirt. Me so honey. Love you long time. <laughs> I don't know if he's Asian. People give him bowl cuts, but I don't want to. <laughs> we had a client come in today. He was like, yeah, my son's Asian, but please don't give him a bowl cut. Oh, my God. He's like, I don't know why Barbara's thinks just because he's Asian, he wants a bowl cut. I almost <laughs> laugh. I want to start laughing. Damn, but you're talking about Asian is your son. Yeah, that was yeah, so funny. Dude, I, it was funny, man. So, guys, just because a little Asian gets in your chair and he has a little bowl cut, don't give him a bowl cut, okay? Or don't cut his hair straight around and like. <laughs> or, and that's another thing. This I can't. <laughs> Stand this. When you guys go to f uh, feather or blend long hair, please don't lose the texture shears. Please don't, because as that grows back, it flares out like that. And then you guys, you know, you comb it down, comb it down, you wet it, and then it, it sticks up, and you think that you throw those texture shears in there. It don't work. 
It don't. It does not work. It don't. In the beginning, uh, the barber school, I seen people do it. And I still see people do that. But as it grows out, it looks like shit. So whoever did his haircut last time, that's what they used. The thing is, you could do that same feather texture without using the, the thing shirt like that. You know? What about a razor? I think a razor will work better. Razor if you're, if, uh, yeah, that was going to say is that if someone asks you that and learn how to do the razor, it, it comes with the comb one, the one that slides over. You put your comb up there and you kind of slide through it. It keeps the weight of it. Because I feel like when you use the thing shirts, it freaks it out. You know, the the, um, the hair goes into shock. So it's like, bam. So as it grows out, no matter what, it's going to grow out like all, like just like a, a buzz. You're like, a, yeah, like you know what I mean? His finger and yeah. And I'm telling you, and like, that's the thing I've told people. And even when I was in barber school, I used to try and something's not going down right. Like mm -hmm. even my pops, I used to do it, start thinning it and it would grow back. Especially hair that has, that's losing pigment. You don't have to do that. Sometimes a hair that's losing pigment, hair pigment, like the color, and it's going gray, use clipper over comb right there. It'll lay down a lot smoother. Do it dry and do it uh, with clipper over comb. If you wet it and you use thinning shirts, it's over. Yeah. It's over. You know what I mean? It's over. And I, I'm just giving that little, you know, this is a lot of um, knowledge I've had to learn. And I guess this is a show for me to actually give it out there. But <laughs> me and uh, Nana the Barber are actually talking about that. And she was asking me, why do I... Why do I think close to the scalp at times instead of close to the ends? That's just to lighten up the hair and to keep it still without having that flare in the hair. So it just lightens it, smooths it out, but it don't add volume. Because I feel like a lot of people with those things just don't, they forget that those things add volume. So you don't want volume when you're trying to like make the corner on the crown go down. So, I mean, that's a big tip, I feel like. So if you guys want to ask me about that or call in, that's a big tip. So, I mean, because I feel like a lot of the longer hairs, people will do an undercut. And the dude's like, I didn't ask for an undercut. <laughs> I like the way it looked, but they still wanted it blended. Yeah. So, the girl goes straight undercut, starts doing that. And, then, like, as it grows out, they start taking length off the top. Yeah. Catch up. Yeah. yeah. And it, take, it takes, like, me and Virgo or a, a good barber almost three cuts to get it back to the way it should have been. Even if it was a good fade or not. And that's another thing I want to say one more time, too, is that if you're, if you're doing a cut and if you don't know how he's combing it, if it's a good cut, good fade, yeah, I killed it. But if you didn't cut to the way that it's combed, it's going to go against it. So cut, ask him how it's cut. Look at it from the front. And that's another point. Before you're done, look at him from the front. And that's an, uh, one of the older barbers taught me when I was a long time. He's like, because that's the way they're going to look at it in the mirror. They look at it like this. You know, and then you see like right here. If you don't look at it, like that's another tip. Look at it like that before you're done. And those are the two tips from G-Rad. I guess I should do two tips of the day every time I'm so those are the things. That's the things that make me mad sometimes if I see a barber going to town with those thinning shirts trying to make it. Yeah, for the first two days, it'll look good. But, you know, the thing is, is that um, the uh, the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut <laughs> is two weeks. Damn, Berto, shit. I can't stand this guy right now. Oh, man. <laughs> he starts fixing it like this fucking serving Johnson's. I don't want being a sausage fool. Fuck. Yeah. Oh my bad. Sorry about the cussing. Check my one too. All right. So okay, guys. Uh, this, uh, to end this day, I just gave you a little pointers. Um, the barber battle was dope, and I guess the seminar was pretty beneficial. I don't know none of those guys, but maybe I should start looking into who these guys are. Um, yeah, they are and, dope. Like, and so who brought them to town, you know? I just don't know. If you got more experience, sometimes you look at them like, what are you talking about? You know, because I've been hard. I've been in the front lines, meaning behind the chair straight for 16 years. Not breaks. Oh, congrats to J-Rock, man. I'm getting on the little squad, you know? That's kind of dope. We have a caller. Well caller one, before we end of the show. What up, what up? Caller. Yo, caller. Yeah. Dad. Dad. <laughs> Who's this? TJ? G. Fertile. Yo, what up, T? Bueno. Hey, you guys, quit bullshitting now. Come on, get your guys' ass back to work. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, I know no one's there. We're always doing the show. He's like, hey, guys, cut the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's tight. See, the people don't know that. We go from show to cut, and so this is straight straight from the barber's mouth. They're still here out of our chair and our tools out, right? <laughs> and for what a person I to hate. come into the barber shop right now and take a picture of TJ's Sandals. shoes that he's cutting in right now, I'll give you a couple dollars off your cut. 
<laughs> oh, man, they you just ask your back and, and snip them. They're <laughs> smart. She's not swan them fireworks, but she's got the bone to pick with the bulk juice. No, nope, take them. <laughs> Don't ask her Aunt Lauren. But no, she she would have won. She would have won if uh, she would have said, "I love the barbershop talk." She she because that was the direction. We're, we're, we la- we're having technical technical difficulties over here too, so we couldn't even hear you guys. But <laughs> that was good. Is this TJ? So we got actually TJ on the line, guys. Wow, <laughs> we the busiest got... guy in town. Wow. <laughs> What do you have to say? Do you want to add anything to the barbershop talk or anything? Word of, word to the wise? Anything you want to say to the battle? <coughs> you got the mic, my brother. Okay, well. We, we were just talking actually, about. I'm just, uh, that's TJ right I'm there. I'm just uh, waiting for you, you knuckleheads to get back so I can leave and go barbecue. So. <laughs> <laughs> but not gonna happen. <laughs> this guy don't even care about no, what we're talking about. We had, we had, hey, we had fun on the real estate. We had fun at the barber battle. We were, you know, a little disappointed with some of the judgments and some of the, you know, I guess you could say critiquing of the haircuts. And we just all kind of, you know, had our hopes up. We rolled in deep, but uh, overall, I mean, I don't regret nothing. I think uh, it was a good team building. It brings unity. Like I said, not in, not just unity within our shop, but. Uh, unity within, you know, outside the shop, you know, about yeah. a lot of barbershops together. And, That's what you know, I said. All showed, yeah, they all showed love on everybody's cuts. Everyone was like, you know, there was no garbage there. It was a tough competition, a lot of talent. So, you know, I thought Colorado, you know, they're doing it. they got a lot of talented barbers, a lot of showcase barbers, and it should it show this weekend. Hell yeah, man. I appreciate that. Now I'm just laughing because it's hard to get your time, brother, so I appreciate oh, yeah, you yeah, calling man. in. Wait, hold on, hold on. Armani wants to tell you guys hi. Hi. Hi, Armani. Hey, Armani. You want some candy? He wants your Fiji Spino. <laughs> he wants your Fiji Spino. Hey, we're going to be giving out some fidget spinners. Huh? Yo, T. Yo, did we lose him? I think we lost him. So, guys, that was uh, uh, our fellow uh, barbershop runner, TJ Mora, and his, his children. Uh, he gave word of the wise to you guys, too. And then, you know what? I know me and uh, Berto have a lot. We have a, a big life behind what we do. And this is something that we do from our hearts. And I know our show is never going to be like, we're not going to say this is what you should do. And this is what's right. And this is just something that we want to have fun show you dedication and um this is the knowledge we've learned and the barbershop talk is all about that yeah, for sure it's all about showing and uh loyalty to your clients and you know a guy came up to me he go he was, he was a little buzz he goes to school and he's like he walked up to me and he said man i've heard about you it's cool to meet you you're awesome and he says what is the main thing one advice that is going to stick with me into my career and i told him your clients make sure your clients are taken care of because I feel like those are the ones that pay your bills. It's all, you know, these guys get into themselves on this on that, but it's that guy that pays your bill. He comes in and gives you 30 bucks, 40 bucks because of things that you put into his hair, the, the, the time that you give to him. So that's one thing. It made me feel special that he was like, hey, he was like starstruck. I was like, wow, like, he's like, you're dope, man. Your team's up. You guys are making noise. What is one thing? So that's one thing I'll always give is advice towards what. I love to do and that's being a barber and I had posted something I feel like it's a gift now more than anything barbering picked me I didn't pick barbering so if you guys want to hear some real tips you know, <laughs> real love or uh, well, get uh, Burrow's tip <laughs> one of my clients was His all, all, Fever is ready. He's all, my kid heard fidget spinner he wants to know who to ask for it uh, see I think uh, honestly we're, we might start giving some out maybe some vision some uh, because we're actually really good artists, and we have these um, yeah, the engravers, and we'll maybe do a scissor hand design studio grave, and we'll give them out, and the next show's coming up. So, And honestly, it won't be, it'll be maybe kids. It won't be, it'll be 18 and under. So if you guys want to look for those, I think that's a good thing to do for the show, giving out good things, you know, because it's all about love and prosperity and being grateful and having gratitude in your heart and being a better person than you were yesterday. And um, just shouts out to uh, Adrienne and for the love you give me. 
Um, you're an awesome woman. I wanted yeah. to tell you that. <laughs> no, I just wanted to tell you that because she's an awesome barber. Oh, she is. And no matter what, like... <laughs> I just want to tell you that, boo. You're the shit. And, like, you're a dope barber. And where you're going, you're going to go far. And I'm here to help you. I'm by your side, boo. And, um, that's another barbershop talk. Why, why did you have to fuck up my oh, oh, shit, dude. dude. I'm all trying to help you. So, dude, hey. That was heartfelt. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for uh, share this post. Um, we got Lauren won the fireworks. We're going to be having, hopefully, some more fireworks if they're giving out or if a show can't give them out. But um, pit bull tickets and Earth, Wind, and Fire tickets coming up, guys. And then Altitude Barbershop coming on next show. So look live, get the prize, and never die. Rock on with your socks out. Anything you want to leave before you go? Nah, man. Love God, love people, love to serve. You know, all praise to Jesus Christ. Alone. And sorry about our little show. It was a little quirky, but thanks for tuning in. Share. Love you guys. Happy Memorial Day. Eat yeah, a lot of meat. Peace, salute, man. We miss you, brother. RIP. Love you guys. Much love. Claudette, Montour. Love y'all. What's up, Jason? Thank you for watching. Tuned in a little too late, buddy. Love y'all. Guys, everybody, thanks for all the comments and all the feedback. Much love. We out. Peace. Love you, babes. Damn, 173. Jeez,